All right, my friends, welcome back to Fiesta Friday. And we are obviously not in the Harmon Studios anymore. We are on location at the nearby St. John School Gym with our very dear friend, Karen Flores, here. And Karen has actually done a brand new take. You know, you're a very creative person. We know that. That's a well-established fact. You, Jason. But you have actually put a pretty unique twist on the classic tale of Robin Hood. So tell me about that. Well, um, you know, when I first um, uh, started my classes this year, I had this incredible uh, powerhouse of actors. I had 20 girls in one class, 20 boys in another class. So I thought, well, what am I going to do? I mean, it's really hard to kind of come up with a play. People just do not write plays for that large a number of students. So I thought Robin Hood would be great. And actually, Robin Hood was the very first play I did, which was about eight years ago, with a fifth grade class. But it was in very small quarters. So this Robin Hood, um, I decided to write. And it's a 15-act play, but not to be afraid, because it's only about an hour and a half. Scenes are very very quick mm -hmm. and uh, and the characters are a little different um, so um, of course you have your Robin Hood but the introduction of this Robin Hood is that nobody has they've heard of the Robin Hood legend but nobody has quite seen him yet mm -hmm. so it's Robin Hood emerging on the scene also prior to him becoming the legend that everybody everybody knows well we hear a little bit about why he did what he did and and why he's you know he's uh, he takes yeah, from the yeah, poor and gives to the, the rich poor from, yeah, takes from the rich and gives to the poor right so so we see but but basically the the same characters with some new introduction of characters are, are all there mm -hmm. so. so that's interesting so instead of doing like the traditional three act play like you said it's like a series of like little vignettes exactly mm -hmm. well i just feel like when you uh, when you take those the, the the really long plays that that have like the three or four different types of acts that run maybe about twenty or thirty minutes, people get kind of bored, mm -hmm. especially when you're talking about I think students. I know I get bored. I don't know what that means, but anyway. So um, so what I do is um, is I, I write it where where the scenes change very quickly. So so maybe one scene might be two minutes. And another scene might be like you know five minutes, and then another scene might be 15 minutes. So that's kind of how this play runs. Now that doesn't surprise me because I know personally you always try and you know go above and beyond your previous production. So so for you for creatively and everything, bravo. What challenge does this mean for your backstage crew? Because you know are you using the same scene or the same sets for every single scene, or are they changing every single time you transition? No, actually this this. Uh, this show uh, contains about 65 kids. So, so what I'm doing is a thrust stage, and I have um, I have two two stages that actually that come out from one side, uh, maybe 12 or 12 or 13 feet out from the stage on one side, 12 or 13 feet from the other side, and they jet up to about 12 or 13 feet up in the sky. That's just that's those are those are actually one two three four scenes there and then of course my scene that's in the in the front of the stage which changes into three different sets so it's a it's a lot but you know when you put things on wheels uh, it, it, it rolls excuse me the expression it rolls easily so yeah <laughs> so, so it's complicated but not too intimidating and the, the pacing must be like really really nice as far as storytelling well it has to be fast-paced um, I think for anybody that um, you know that likes adventure tales it has to be and of course you have that calm you know what's going to happen to Robin Hood uh, at the end, but um, and 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 I think that's I think we're we're able to do that with this show. And now, without giving away the the ultimate end, of course, and everything, uh, most people know like you know Robin Hood either from the period when he was becoming you know uh, the hero to the oppressed that he was, and then to the part when you know he and Maid Marian were happily ever after. Depending if you watched the Disney cartoon, if you watched you know three or four different iterations of the movie. Uh, how far along that story does your play take it? Well, um, I, I don't think, I think that uh, my Robin Hood and, and all the characters that I have are kind of vulnerable. And so, uh, you know, so it's, it's a different take. I mean, I, I want to say that, yes, Robin Hood is the hero, but, uh, but there are a lot of other heroes in the, uh, in the show as well. So I don't know if that... I don't. I really don't want to give away too much, but so they'll just have to come and see it. Well, ever the salesperson, Karen, and, and of course, you know, ever humble. Um, who would you like to thank as far as you know your performers and everything? Because you always try and give credit to the kids. Yeah, well, it's it's the kids. That's the way. That's the reason why I do this because the kids are pretty fantastic. So you know, I've got uh, Kent Vallis Rubio. I've got uh, Rocco Flores. I've got Noah Sablon. I've got Thor Jensen. I've got. Um, I've got uh, Peter Park, I've got uh, Jagger uh, uh, Stevens, I've got, there's 65 kids, so it could take us quite a long time, and I think, uh, I want to tell you that it starts May 1st and 2nd, 
8 p.m. Tickets are $10. For students that are under the age of eight, it's only $5. And we are doing, uh, we are doing matinees, and those are for outside schools. But you know, if people want to reserve seats, they totally can. They can call me up. If people have um, maybe more than um, eight in a group, I would be more than happy to give discounts. Because we really, our whole, I think the whole, our whole objective here at St. John's is to make sure that people see quality theater, and that's exactly what they're gonna get when they come and see Robin Hood. All right, real quick before we go to commercial, what number can people reach you at? Okay, 488-6899, that's my personal number, or 646-8080, and they can, um, they can ask about Robin Hood tickets. All right, everybody, we're gonna wrap up the show right after this. We are in Upper Tumon. Stay tuned, we're back after this.